Hey guys, what's going on? This is Robert, and back from the little break I kind of took from the lesson videos, and it's been really, really good for me. I've come up with a lot of good ideas, but um, instead of me blabbing for 20 minutes about all the new ideas I have, um, I'm just going to kind of start with one, and this one is going to be, it's it's like a insanely good legato workout. Um, I'm not like super fast at it or anything, because I'm still using it myself. It's something I came up with. And something I noticed is, like, when I was doing my legatos before, they were all real pattern-based. Just... So you're always pretty much using three fingers. But what, what this exercise is, is it's all chromatic. So this is what we're going to be working with. It's going to be kind of out of G, which is a nice chromatic run across the neck. And it might sound kind of goofy or dumb or anything, but it's, I mean, it'll really help your fingers out because it uses all your fingers all the time. And, you know, just to do a normal chromatic run would be... That's kind of boring. So this one we kind of got some patterns involved in it. So um, I'm going to play it slow real quick so you can see it slow, and then I'm going to walk you through it and explain it and everything. Okay, so the first pattern that we're doing is going to be right here, start on the 10th fret, and all of these things are like tongue twisters for your fingers. So if you're not used to doing like kind of chromatic passages and stuff, or doing legato where you're using all four fingers, um, really take your time and go really slow at these, because the, the whole point of legato is to get that real smooth kind of flowy sound. <laughs> Thing, so just go real slow with them. But anyways, the first one is right here at the tenth fret with your pinky, and you're gonna pull off to seven. Okay, then hammer on to eight, hammer on to nine, hammer on to ten. So then you're gonna pull off from that ten to nine, nine to eight, nine to seven. So maybe just take that one passage and really work on it. Just go. And get to where you're real comfortable with it. And like I said, it might sound kind of dumb, but trust me, if you do this, I guarantee you your legato is going to get a lot better. Okay, so we got that one. And then we're going to, we're pretty much going down in a diagonal like this. But we're kind of adding some flavor to it. So after the first one, you're going to jump and you're going to go to the, what is this, 8th fret, and you're going to pull off to the 6th, okay, then hammer on to the 7, so, and hammer on to 8, so, and hammer on to 9 with your pinky, so, and you're going to pull all those back off, so, so the first one, second one, Okay, and we're going to hop back another step. And this time we're going to go 6, pull off 5. And then hammer back on to 6. Hammer on to 7. Hammer on to 8. And then pull those back off. So. And those are like, you're kind of getting the feel for the pattern now. Because so we're pulling off. And we're hammering back on just straight across the neck. And then pulling those back off. So the first one, second one, third one, and now we're just going to repeat the pattern. So the next one is going to be the first one again. I don't think I messed up. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. So now we're going to go seven, pull off four, hammer on five. Pull those back off. Okay, so. okay, and one important thing with this is, is I only pick the first note. I don't pick any other notes. Uh, it'll really help you get a real strong legato going. 
Okay, so then the next one, you're gonna go five, pull off three, hammer on four, hammer on five, hammer on six. And again, pull those back off. So then six, pull off five, pull off four, five to four, four to three. Last one. This we're gonna go um, three, pull off two, hammer on three, hammer on four, hammer on five. And then you guess it, pull them back off, and then just hit some kind of a G chord. G sus four if you want. Cool. So then up to speed again. That's pretty much it. I'll play the whole thing uh, super slow so you can play along with it. But trust me, this one will completely help your legato. And it really opened up a lot of ideas for me as far as passages went. Because before I would kind of just go... Stuff like that. But now I'm kind of... Kind of messing around with like the chromatic thing. So, the lick real slow is this. Awesome. So that's the lesson and everything. Uh, I hope that one helped your hands out. It'll definitely be, build up your finger strength and really just work on just getting that real smooth and slow. Like I said, just one pattern at a time. Just... And then maybe one. Ooh, can't do that. <laughs> that one's tricky. <laughs> Hopefully play it a lot cleaner than what I just did. So anyways, I will see you guys back with some more lessons. Uh, peace out, and please subscribe to my channel. And also, uh, like me on Facebook if you get a chance. I'll put the link in the description. And that is it. Cool. So I'll see you guys with the next video.